Hey guys, Guy Christian 9 here. Let's play Lego Batman in the last episode, which has actually been quite some time since our last episode. We got through episode 2 of the hero walkthrough, and now we're going to be going through the villain walkthrough because that's how things work in this project. Get deal with it. And actually, this this is probably the one villain playthrough you want to play just because it explains a lot of the stuff that happens over the course of this thing. That doesn't really do good. But anyways, rocking the docks. Story. Yeah, the, the hero side, they didn't really explain a lot of the um, events that happened during the thing. Like, like, uh, well, I know a lot of people like complained about it after the last hero mission. Like, what happened to Bane? And why is Catwoman there? And yeah, lots of stuff. And of course, we're getting this cutscene again. With cute little penguin. I wonder, uh, no, I, I don't think that it's even possible to really create one of those as an actual Lego. I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, I'd have to try. <laughs> I wonder how Penguin tastes. <laughs> oh man, I think way too much about food. I don't know, I'm a curious eater. I'll try anything once as long as it doesn't look or smell bad. <laughs> Which means I'll probably never taste a durian. <laughs> Alright. I like the little icon, it's kinda cute. Cutscenes are so cool. And yeah, I know. Can't think of anything to say. Hey, it's fish truck! Yay! Fish truck! Alright, now it's a uh, long time. Yay. Dane, it's Penguin here. The satellite dish we need for the Penguin transmitter has just been delivered to the docks. I don't know why this is bold. With your fists in my brain, nothing can stop us. Tear down the city for all I care. Just get me that dish. <laughs> that was a bad joke voice, wasn't it? Wee! Alright, well, anyways. So, obviously, here's where Bane comes into the picture. So now we're going to be finally finding out what happened to him. Oh, man, look at that. It's so dedicated to his uh, build. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. And... One, two, three! Wee! Man, I wonder if he's ever done midget throwing. <laughs> Is that supposed to be bad, though? I don't know. Okay, we get it. You're muscular. <laughs> Alright, so, we have two new characters, obviously. The Bane, he is super strong and can resist poison. So, he's basically Killer Croc. Um, well, we'll be getting Killer Croc later. But I don't think we had any with this combination. Oh, no, freeze, technically. But anyways, the penguin. His unique ability is that you can throw penguin bombs. Yeah, it's sad. You send little penguins to their death. Yeah, I imagine Pete is gonna already called them about it. But um, yeah, and of course, since they're explosives, they blew up Metal Lego. So that's gonna be. Of course, there are some mechanics that you have to deal with later on about like actually aiming the penguins. So. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Penguin also has a gun in his umbrella, so he kind of operates, uh, you know, that way too. He's super strange. Gun. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like Penguins a bit more, just because explosives are a lot more useful than just controlling people. And, okay. Oh god, this is going to end badly! Alright, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Now, I can say you can um, detonate your penguins early. Oh, shit. Oh, man. All right, let's do it now. If you hold down B while a penguin is still active, a penguin will pretty much order it to die immediately. So, yeah, it, it, you don't want them running around dangerously like that, I guess. Oh, that actually kind of scared me a bit. All right, uh, let's get these studs first. All right. I don't know why I'm sidling all the time. I don't really use sidling in this game, anyways. Alright, I gotta rebuild this truck. You do need the trucks, um, so make sure you build that. I think you can actually drive that one once you get rid of the other part, but oops, that's. that's, that's, that's. 
I'm making sure I get as many says, partly because I don't want to have to repeat these levels. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to repeat all the levels anyways, but I don't like having to hunt after the true hero crap. And I'm gonna ignore you, and yeah. But mainly because, I mean, at, at one point I'm gonna have to start buying everything, and that's gonna cost quite a bit of studs. I'm gonna probably save the uh, more secret characters for later, because there are a few that, like, you know, are like in Indiana Jones 2, where it costs like a fortune to get them, but, huh. And this truck is not doing good. Alright, I'm being gingerly, just so I don't screw up here. <laughs> Alright, there you see a truck button, like, very specific. Oh, okay, there we go. Managed to get out there in time. Oh, wait, that's the only one? Huh. There's like a second one over there. Maybe that's for a mini kit. Bye bye! Whee! <laughs> Oh, that never gets old. Alright. Uh, yeah, like, a lot of the stuff around here is just, uh, mini kits. Like, if we blow all this stuff up, we'll find another truck button. Oh, it didn't blow up all of it. Usually the explosives are pretty good about clearing out something, so... Yeah, let's just go, because that's probably just mini kit. Alright. Yeah, stud again, and blowing some more stuff up, because we need more studs. And building stuff too. Whee! Oh yeah, there's the third thing that the penguin can do. He has the ability to glide. So yeah, there's an example of a villain that actually has the glide Batman ability. Um, actually, we will be getting at least like two of those. Um, yeah, get up here, Bane. I mean, we will be getting at least two characters in this um, this um, villain playthrough here that have the ability to glide. The penguin, of course, being the first one. You can probably guess who the second one is offhand. Alright, and I don't know why I had to blow that one up. Uh, whatever. Fly! This could be studs. Alright, get this out. And clear out the sailors, ran the randomly sailors. Well, I mean, we are at the dock, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, shoot. Alright, I'm not supposed to hit those. Got it. Alright, I can freeze that, but I don't have freeze. I need Bane here. And that randomly drains up that pool of toxic waste. Why there's a pool of toxic waste there? Eh. <laughs> Guys, did you know that video games are unrealistic sometimes? <laughs> uh, whoa! <laughs> that one sailor was just weird. Like, the one that just flew all the way to the back there. Go away. Alright. Clear some stuff out. Make sure I don't blow myself up in the process. Let's see, alright, I can't go up there. Oh, build. Alright. And we need Bane's help here. Because now we're dragging a boat! Yeah! Look at this, we're so strong. So pro. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool, though. You can actually, like, you actually use super strength. How about that? <laughs> alright, let's see. Don't really need to go over there, so. Over there being the, uh, rest of the ship. Oh yeah, and I love doing that. Uh, the vein when you, uh, pick someone up with X or something, and then, or B or whatever, and then you press one of the buttons, it does his trademark backbreaker. And there's actually an achievement in this game. Um, Batman. So, kind of, it's kind of nice how they included that there. And there's a lot of stuff that I gotta pick up here. But well, first, gotta blow some stuff up too. Oh man, this is gonna be another one of those infinite things, isn't it? All right, well, let's get Bane going. Blow these things up first. Let's see. And there's oh, hi, I didn't get that one. All right, now let's start lifting these things and see what we got. Wee, wee. <laughs> oh, oh, that one was. Alright, another wave. Deal with them real quick. Alright, oh wait. Oh, I could just go through the door. Alright, never mind. Alright, and I think this is after the last part of the level too. So, alright, we're already pretty much at the end, guys. <laughs> alright, let's see. Alright, so obviously, alright, we can't deal with that yet. I think that's a Joker-related thing or something. But, um, obviously there's some switches that we have to activate. 
Oh yeah, this one like goes like yeah, an elevator kind of thing. All right, so obviously we gotta find the other slot. Yeah, there's the uh, satellite dish right there, that box with the glass fragile things on it. <laughs> we right, step up, and I'm probably not gonna get anywhere near, am I? And what's that do? Oh, it picks that box up. All right. Well, what does that box do? Let's see, still. Oh! oh! Okay, it connects that. Alright, so yeah, if you tried flipping the switch beforehand, it wouldn't go through because the signal wouldn't work. And poor Vane's, Vane's got to swim. And since he's a computer, it'll allow him to go back up here. Alright. Alright, let's just pull this. Alright, and that activates the elevator, so now all we have to do is just go back. Uh, there is a bit of a things to explore here, but um, again, mini kits, so not going to be interested for now. There's like a mini kit right underneath those lily pads. You can kind of see like some of the radiating glow. All right, and now we'll go up here, and now we got to deal with this crane. And there's a purple sun. Yep, there you go. See, like. That's one of the- oh shoot, alright, this is gonna make it complicated. <laughs> See, like, that was an example of having to lead your, um, penguin, although they're gonna be much harder puzzles later on. Alright, and there we go, there's our dish. And we didn't get super villain, did we? Ah, more guys. Okay, never mind. <laughs> And that definitely did not look like that. Oh, uh, Ping was like, bye! <laughs> Bane, angry! Bane, smash! <laughs> no, that bicycle! Why? Man, he is mad. Oh shoot. No! No! Think about the poor police officer in there! <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Oh, never mind. Hi. <laughs> you did it, Jenkins! Promotion! Whee! <laughs> so yeah, there's answer number one. Penguin backstabbed him and left him to get captured. And now we know what happened to Bane. Whee! But anyways, mission complete. Or level complete, whatever. So yeah, there you go. First the villain missions. And already we're getting some answers, guys. And of course we're gonna unlock two more characters. Man, we still got a lot to go through. Jeez. A lot of them is just kind of like minions and just random other kind of things. Yeah, 69. Haha, <laughs> 69. Uh, oh, man. Oh, there we go. We hit 1 million studs. Yeah. Gonna buy some bitches with that. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I, damn it. I'm really sorry. I'm trying not to say curse for doing a Lego project. I blame being raised by a military dad and two brothers. <laughs> Alright, but anyways. Yeah, so this is Gargish9, and this has been Lego Batman. And in the next episode, we are going to continue along Penguin's Conquest with Mission 2, which is going to be... If I can find it. Alright, stealing the show. So I'll see you then, guys. Doo -doo.